Folks, I have another very special video to show you today. You may have seen my Power Gig 6 string controller video from a couple days ago. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the other half of what's included in the band kit, which is the Airstrike drum controller. Here's the box itself. You have to get the whole band kit to get the uh, the drum set. You you could buy the guitar as a, the guitar and game bundle, but there was never like a just a drum game bundle. You have to buy the band kit, which is incredibly rare, super rare. I've only found like two of them in the past year. This is actually the first one that I ever found. I bought this one on eBay last November uh, for actually a relatively cheap price. I think like sixty or seventy bucks, which is um, I think. I think they retailed for 180 bucks when these are brand new in 2010. So, uh, yeah, not so bad. Also, uh, the, the second one that I ever found was just like from two weeks ago. Uh, that popped up on Facebook Marketplace. And I sent that one off to, uh, to Nolan or Daisy, as you may know him on YouTube, because he also shares this odd fascination with this game, uh, <laughs> just like me. So I thought he'd uh, I thought he'd enjoy it. Uh, he'd enjoy getting the full Power Gig experience, uh, per se. Uh, so I'm going to let the official marketing material uh, give you the overview of this piece of junk uh, because I like it. I think it's very um, interesting. It's like <laughs> it has like a, an Adult Swim, Tim and Eric sort of vibe to it, which is an interesting choice for, for this game. But anyways, here's the video. Before you start drumming, let's first explore your hardware. Instead of the bulky and loud gaming drum kits of the past, the PowerGig Airstrike drum kit is all contained in this wireless bass. While it has normal controller functionality, including directional pad, start and back buttons, red, yellow, blue and green buttons, and an Xbox or PlayStation guide button, it also has four colored... It also has four colored sensors along the top side. These sensors interact with your airstrike drumsticks to determine which drum you hit. Your kit also includes a kick drum pedal, mojo pedal, and extension legs for your airstrike bass. Easy to store, easy to play, easy to rock it real. Yeah. Here they are. This is what they look like. Uh, you got the you got the four sensors here, of course. You have the two airstrike drumsticks. Uh, these are very interesting. You need two batteries each. Two batteries here, two batteries there, and two batteries in the drum drum set itself. So you need six double A batteries to play this piece of shit uh, drum controller. Um, furthermore. You have to hold these sticks in a very specific orientation, otherwise it just won't register. There's a there's a sensor at the very top of these things, and those have to be pointed down towards the controller, otherwise uh, it won't know that it's there. Um, they give you these little thumb indents uh, to put your thumbs to force you to hold the sticks in the proper orientation to get them to register. And even then, it's a crapshoot whether or not it's actually going to go. Um, besides that, you also got your little mojo pedal. That's uh, that's for activating the mojo power, which is just the star power equivalent in this game. And then you also have a kick drum. And then optionally, if you were so inclined, it comes with three little stands uh, that you can put at the bottom of the drum kit to to raise it off the ground a little bit. Um, it's it's up in the air if it, if it actually works better or not. There's actually a tooltip in game uh, on the loading screen that says. Uh, that, that tells you about these things, and, and it, it warns you that if you use these, that uh, the hit window, well, the little cone that these things emit is actually shorter, obviously, because, you know, the way the light sensor works, it comes from this one central point, and it goes up and out like this. So if you raise it, you know, the cone is going to be smaller, so you have less of an area to hit the, uh, to actually get the, the sticks to register. But nothing registers in the first place so <laughs> I'm just gonna show you how bad these things actually are so here's a couple of clips uh, for me trying these things okay so here is the demonstration of the airstrike drum kit you have to use this sort of flicking down motion as if you're actually hitting a pad for it to get it to register uh, you can't just like glide it over the pads and it, it will hit you know you actually have to act like you're air drumming Once you find the spot to actually hit, you better not fucking move your hand because it's hard to find again. 
Like, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the red. Where's the red? I should also say that I'm looking at this drum kit 90% of the time. I'm barely glancing at the screen. You have to be looking to see where you're fucking going to hit. Further, it's very awkward to play this when you have no, like, feedback for what you're hitting and when. Like, you know, pads have rebound that helps you get back up. You know, when you do this motion, it rebounds you back. You have to do that all on your own. And given the fact that these drumsticks are super heavy because they each have two AA batteries in it, it's kind of taxing. And you have to be kind of down here to, hit, to make these things even register, too. Like, I'm getting pretty close to the pads, if you even want to call them pads. It says directly on the kit to not hit the base unit. So that's just bound to happen if you're doing this, because if you go way up here, it's much less um, responsive. There's like a there's like an upper level to these things. Right about here. Alright. One and a half stars. Good stuff. Hey, I only missed 37%. That is not that bad. That's probably the best run I've done so far with these things, on expert at least. Almost a 30 note streak? That's a good run. It says it's shaky, but that was a good run. One more small thing I forgot to mention. Uh, remember that update that broke the guitar functionality? It also broke the functionality for this uh, the Airstrike drum set. So the game will recognize it as a regular Rock Band controller, which breaks one achievement in the game, which is to get three stars on a song using only one drumstick. Uh, the Airstrike drums know you only have one drumstick because it has each one labeled as an R and an L. Uh, so if, you, if you're only using one, it, it knows only the right stick is being used, right? So unless you have an Xbox that hasn't been online since 2012, you can't get that achievement, even if you have the Airstrike drum set. How wonderful. Okay, so there's an achievement in this game for getting three seals with only one drumstick. Uh, the way I did this was playing Crossroads on the easiest difficulty because it's a very simple pattern. And it's a very good demonstration for something very easy, that should be very easy, but isn't easy at all in actual practice because the peripheral is hot trash. I mean, I feel like I'm hitting pretty much the same spot every time, and it's just luck if it actually decides to hit. I should also know I'm staring at this drum kit. I'm not even looking at my screen because I know the pattern, I can hear the music, I don't need to look to see what I need to hit, I need to look to see where the fuck I need to actually throw these sticks in the air. I'm getting close, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Song's over. Nope. That is how hard it is to get three stars on the lowest difficulty. I got two stars, missed 38% of the notes on the easiest difficulty. I'm just trying to get my bearings straight to where I even am. Okay, I got it there, not there, there, not there. Now, if I could just memorize a chart in its entirety so I can look at the, uh, the drum kit only, it might not be terrible. I mean, yeah, it still would be terrible, but I might be able to hit some notes. I'm going to try taking it off the stands to see if that helps me. Anything. Nothing, anyway. But if I go all the way down here, sure. So yeah, maybe it is better to have it up on there. This seems to be the cutoff. Well now I just have to like lean really down to do this. This is very uncomfortable.
That was garbage. Fifteen percent perfect, twenty-six percent good, only fifty-nine percent missed. Okay, this song is actually pretty tough, so it's gonna be a train wreck. Even more of a train wreck than any other song I've done. Nothing is registering but my kicks. This is ridiculous. Good luck ever hitting a roll. Okay, why, what's up with the green? Nothing is going. I mean, what's up with everything? Nothing is going, but I, you know what I mean. What the fuck? I don't even know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> that was such a such a disaster. How this ever got out of the testing phase and went to market? It should be a crime. These drums should be illegal. That's my clickbait title.